Now a little closer to home, a small town near the Utah-Nevada border shaken up. A car explodes, killing one person in Lincoln County. We've been following the story all day long. This is still very much an active investigation right now. 13 Action News reporter Parker Collins has been there all day in Panaca with the very latest. Parker. The sheriff just spoke to us behind me at the firehouse, but I want to show you this town. I mean, these homes are close together, but look, there are also fields. There aren't a lot of people out here, but almost everyone I'm speaking to heard and felt these two explosions. And yes, there were two explosions last night. The sheriff just told us one was inside a car, one was inside a house. There was a woman with her children in that home, but they escaped just in time. The sheriff thinks this was possibly planned, and the man who died in this was the man who set it off. Now, right now, the thing is, they're not sure if these explosions are over. That's why they have the FBI, ATF, the canines. They even brought Metro up here to find out if there are any more explosions planned. Right now, there are several people who cannot go home. I covered the baby and my husband covered the, our other two kids and we just started running. We didn't know what had just happened. It was really scared. It scared everybody. It took like a leaf. The house was shaken, everything. At this point, they're thinking more than 30 people cannot go home. Those evacuation orders could last well into tomorrow. Reporting live, Parker Collins, 13 Action News.